Stains. Mr. Henshaw. You need gas? Uh, y yes. It's not empty. I... Uh...
for a visit? Uh, yes. Who's that? My son, Lonnie. Oh, I didn't recognize him. I, I suppose he was just a boy when I left. Didn't need but a few gallons. Yes, I, uh, I, I guess so. Uh, hello. Let's see, um, here we go. Changes inside. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll get it some other time. I'm, I'm in a hurry. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You gonna stop me, little man? You show some respect. Darling. Rose. Hello. Oh, it's, darling, it's so good to see you. Why didn't you tell us what flight you were on? We could have driven over to Reno to pick you up. It just seemed easier to rent a car. You must be exhausted, that long drive after a plane trip. I didn't plan things very well. Well, the important thing is you're here. I've just been getting some flowers for your room. Oh, Rose. The people who make up those awful stepmother jokes never met my stepmother. Come here, I want you to meet my son. Oh, finally must have stepped out for a few minutes. He just got back from church. Justin! Oh, well, he'll be back soon. Would you like some coffee? Oh, I'd love some. Good, let's have it outside. It's always so gloomy in here without the guests. Oh, Eddie's been trying to reach you. He called a couple of times. Thanks. Um, want to freshen up? Yes. Now, don't tell me. There used to be a powder room... Right there. Still is. Solid silver flossy. <laughs> Where's Daddy? Oh, he's gone. He's in Mexico poking around those ruins of his. Already? He usually waits until May. Not your father. He goes when the spirit moves him. When did he leave? Oh, several weeks ago. We weren't expecting you. No, no, of course not. When I got your telegram, I tried to call, but you were already gone. Once I decided I was coming, I just wanted to get here. Liza, is something wrong? Something's very wrong. Oh, my Jean. How long is she staying? You've been listening. Well? I really didn't ask. You've got no cause to worry. I have. Please put these in Mrs. Cracker's room and bring some coffee out to us.
I didn't mean to be mysterious before. I've come out here to get a divorce. Oh, Liza, I'm sorry. Are you surprised? Well, I guessed you were having problems. That bad? Hopeless, Rose. Are you sure? Yes. I'll drive over to Carson City tomorrow and establish residence. You think you can stand to have me around for six weeks? <laughs> Darling, this is your home. If your father had known, I'm sure he... Oh, here's the coffee. May Jean. Hello, Liza. Well, how long have you been working here? A year, maybe. Since the mine played out. How's Mel? It's all right. And the baby? She must be a big girl by now. Betsy's nine. Oh, don't go. Stay a minute. I have work to do. We used to be friends. We went to school together. Well, May Jean Warren's not a very gracious person, I'm afraid. Justin? Oh, yes. You must come meet him. Oh, don't interrupt him. Nonsense. He'd never forgive me. He plays well. Yes, he's taken over as organist for the church. And he's done a wonderful job with restorations here at the lodge. You're proud of him. Justin has been everything a mother could want. Well, at last. <laughs> I was beginning to think you were a figment of Rose's imagination. I've heard a great deal about you, too. Liza, my fabulous stepsister. Ooh, is that what we are, stepbrother and sister? Well, aren't we? I suppose so, but it sounds so grim. Wicked mothers and no porridge? Mm, something like that. Well, we'll just be friends, then. That'll leave a lot more latitude. I felt the same about May Jean as I did about Mr. Henshaw. It was as if I were a stranger, as if I had no business being here at all. Here, let me take that for you. How long have you been gone? About five years. Why? Well, you see, Liza, your family has lived here for, uh, well, over a century. And they made a lot of money here. <laughs> And so when your father had to close down the mine, he and Rose had this lodge to fall back on. It wasn't so easy for the people who were working for him. The haves and have-nots. Yeah, exactly. Most of the miners went away. But the ones who stayed really had a bad time. <laughs> and now you come from New York, and you're young and beautiful and successful. And it looks as if the Staines family had grabbed up all the luck that this town had coming to it. If you uh, want me to talk to Henshaw about his boy, I'll be glad to. Oh, no. No, don't do that. He, he didn't really bother me or anything. <laughs> maybe I was just imagining things. Yeah, maybe so. Well, ma'am, is there uh... a... <clears throat> Anything more I can do for you? No. Do I have time for a nap before lunch? All the time you want. Thank you for everything. I'm glad you're here, Liza. Uh, Mae Jean, would you see to it that Mrs. Crocker gets some towels, please?